Hello again, it's Linda in Belize. Today I'm going to talk about how you can stay connected in Belize. If you're one of those people that travels and needs your phone, what are some options to do here and in other parts of the world? So I'm going to give you five options to use when you're traveling to Belize or elsewhere. Option one is you can use your regular cell phone plan. Option two, you can put your phone on airplane mode and use Wi-Fi. And we'll talk about how that works in Belize. And the next couple options are Google Fi and one called Flexi Roam. And the last option I'm going to go through are using local SIM cards. So option one is to use your regular cell plan while you're traveling internationally. But the issue with this is that international plans can be very expensive. Some US plans charge $10 a day extra to use your own plan while you're traveling. And my plan in Canada with TELUS is actually at $16 a day now, whereas when I first came to Belize, it was $12 a day. And it goes to a maximum of $300 a month, but it's still very expensive. So now I want to talk about some great U.S. plans for people who travel a lot, but I'm also going to cover some restrictions if you are moving somewhere or traveling for most of the year. Well, Whistle Out does have some lists of options. So one of the ones that I looked at to consider was T-Mobile because they have a plan with unlimited international data. So this plan, the Go 5G Plus plan, taxes and fees included, $90 per month. And when you look at it, it looks great because it has unlimited national minutes to and from Canada, the US and Mexico. And then unlimited messages, domestic and international tax. So this actually seemed like it might be a plan that would work really well for someone living in Belize until you go down into the detail. So of course we have this unlimited calling, but this is the problem. Primary usage must occur on the US network. And this is something that a lot of people aren't aware of. So if you're already in a plan with T-Mobile and is working really well when you're traveling, but you decide to stay somewhere, Belize or elsewhere, for most of the year, you're going to have a problem with this. And I've seen a lot of people on YouTube talk about the fact that they were traveling, everything was working great until it didn't. And that's not something you want to have happen when you're unprepared. So in addition to looking at uh, Whistle Out, I also went into T-Mobile directly to see what it talked about in terms of the restrictions. So it talks here about getting high speed data abroad and it talks about the plan and what's included. And I've highlighted the section that's relevant. It says not for extended international use. You must reside in the US and your primary usage must occur on our, our network. So depending on how much you're traveling, you better assess this. And it does also say service may be terminated or restricted for excessive roaming. And you certainly don't want to have that happen when you're not in the US to get a different phone. Okay, so let's look at AT&T on Whistle Out. So again, it is $85 per month. And the thing I liked about it a lot is the unlimited national minutes to and from the US, Canada and Mexico. But again, we have to go down and see are there restrictions long term. And here it does talk about the fact that here we go, unlimited talk and text in North, Central and South America. This is a great feature for people traveling a lot, but this is the thing that it says that's one of the issues. This feature may be suspended when the voice, text and data usage abroad exceeds your roaming usage allowance. So it's kind of funny that they tell you you get unlimited, but then there is a usage allowance. So that is the thing that a lot of these plans um, don't really tell you very clearly until you start looking into it. So again, both of these plans are great to consider if you're traveling a lot, as long as your primary use is within the US. So option two is to put your phone on airplane mode and just use Wi-Fi. In my experience, this works way better in Belize than in some other countries. In Belize, almost every bar and restaurant has Wi-Fi and they're gonna share their password with you as soon as you ask. Now I was just in Mexico and although we had Wi-Fi in our room, it was kind of spotty and there was no Wi-Fi at the bar or the pool. So using airplane mode and Wi-Fi might work for you, but if it doesn't, you'll need to consider some of the other options because for example, if you're like me and you get lost a lot, you may want to use Google Maps and that's where I really like having data, not just having Wi-Fi in certain places. 
I do have a few tips for you if you are going with the Wi-Fi option. First of all, if you're in a place that someone else has the Wi-Fi for already on their phone, you can ask them to share their QR code. So I do this all the time for people I'm traveling with. All you do in an Android phone anyway is go into settings, connections, and then Wi-Fi. And when you see the network that you're on, like in my case, Breezy Belize there in the picture, you click on the gear and once you get into it, at the bottom there, you can see I've circled in yellow the QR code. And once I click on that, the QR code comes up for people to scan, get onto the Wi-Fi without the password. So this is a really quick way um, in Belize, basically every place I go to, when I'm with people that don't have their data plan, I just share the Wi-Fi with them. So let's start looking at Google Fi. So in terms of one of the best plans for international travel, it would be the unlimited plus plan because here you can see that your data calls and texts within the US, Canada and Mexico are included. And then while you're traveling outside of those regions, you can also use data and it does have 200 destinations, including Belize. And then it talks about how texts and calls work when you're outside of the regions, free texts, but then 20 cents a minute for calls. So this plan does work well if you're needing to text and you need data. So what does the plan cost? Well, if we go into plans here and we look at the unlimited plus one, which is the one we were just talking about, you can click down here. And if you had two people, it's 110 for two, which is 55 each. If it was just one of you, it would be $65. So Google Fi is a really great option for many people, but I've seen people travel with it not realizing that there was this restriction depending on how long you travel. And you certainly don't want to be caught unaware, just like in those other US plans we talked about, because Google Fi says if the majority of your usage is outside the United States over a consecutive 90 day period, you may have your international capability suspended. I've heard from some people that this used to be six months, but with 90 days only, this can be a restriction, especially if you're coming somewhere to get away from winter like a lot of people do when they're coming to some of these tropical destinations. So if you don't like the restrictions that I just talked about, we do have a couple of options to talk about that work. So the first option I'm going to talk about is FlexiRoam and the reason for that is because they have coverage in many different countries and when you look at the list of countries, there's different regions here. So if I go into North America, you can see that actually Belize is included under the North America plan. And there's tons of other countries. Canada's included in here, Cayman Islands, Costa Rica, a whole bunch of different countries, and obviously the US here too. So that's really kind of critical for people that are traveling many different places and want connectivity as soon as they land. Now, the way these plans work is basically you buy a set amount of data on an app that's on your eSIM, which is right on your phone, and as you use it, it draws down and then you can add more. So what I could do here is enter the destination as Belize and it's going to show me all the different options I have to buy data for different periods of time. So you could see here the 150 country data, one gig one is $19.99, only valid for 15 days. But there's lots of different options here. So you could see here there's seven gigs of data for 360 days, which includes your free eSIM. And this one is $200. So when you click here, on the one, it basically tells you the plan comes with a free eSIM that provides 3G and 4G connection in multiple countries, best for frequent travelers, group travelers, and air crews either for work or leisure. Important note, the FlexiRoam app is required for this data plan and eSIM activation. So one of the things you need to do before you get FlexiRoam is check the compatibility of your phone. Check if your device is eSIM compatible. Look here, there's different iPhones listed as well as Android. So I'm on a Samsung Galaxy S21, and so you can see that mine is definitely included. I have eSIM capability, so this is the one that works well for me. So one of the really cool things is the app that they have for FlexiRoam. So the first thing you have to do if you want to get this is to download the app on your phone, make sure you have it, and make sure that your phone is eSIM 
compatible, which I already mentioned. So on the app here, you can manage your data. You can view the data balance and manage your data consumption. And then there's also the Flexi Share Plan, which is really great because if you want to share some of your um, plan with someone else, like your partner, you can do that. And if you are like us, where we both have a limited data plan in Belize, because that's kind of how the plans typically work, and we need a little bit more, we can use this. The other thing is, is we don't necessarily run out, but when we go to travel to Mexico, which we do quite a bit, our plans don't work there. So then we're paying $16 a day, which is very expensive, where we could just use some of this FlexiRoam data that we have. And you can purchase extra data right here on the app. So that makes things very simple. So that is one of the great things that I like about FlexiRoam. And if you're interested in this, I do have details and a referral link right in the description of my video. So the last option I want to talk about is getting a local SIM card in Belize. So you can get one that's monthly like I do, and I'll talk about prices for that. But if you're a traveler, you can also just get short term SIM cards to use while you're here, which I'll also talk about. So first of all, let's just talk about SIM cards. So local SIMs are available in many different countries, although it'd be hard if you're traveling to many different places on one trip to go find them, especially if you're in a different language country where you don't understand what they're saying. Now there is such a thing as an international SIM card and I just wanted to mention that because those are a good option if you travel a lot, but I looked at a few different ones and they were not supported in Belize, which is why I went ahead with Flexi Roam instead. So next I want to talk about dual SIM phones. So there are phones that have a regular SIM, like your one from the US or Canada, along with the capability of adding in an eSIM. But if you want regular SIMs, the physical ones that you put in, normally if you have a regular phone, you would take out your local uh, SIM card from your regular phone provider for an unlocked phone, and you would just put in a local SIM from another country. What I really wanted is to use one phone and have two physical SIMs. Now, in the case of me, when I researched buying a phone in Canada or in the US, I, there were none of those phones available. They had multiple options for eSIMs, but none with dual SIMs. So in Belize, luckily, I was able to buy a dual SIM phone, the Samsung, the Samsung S21. And that means I have my Belize SIM in the phone, as well as my Canadian SIM in one phone. Before I had this, I actually had two separate phones, one cheap one I bought in Belize with my Belize SIM and my Canadian one. And when I wanted to replace my phone, buying that phone right in Belize was a huge benefit so that I don't have to keep swapping over. When I'm in Canada, I have my Canadian SIM on and my Belize one off. When I'm in Belize, my Canadian one is off, but I can still use my Canadian WhatsApp number, which is a huge advantage to these dual SIM phones. You put off which one you want and have the one on that you, that you need. So if you're thinking of getting a local SIM in Belize, which is likely more affordable for some people versus paying your daily rate on your phone, this one with, with Digi is $20 US, which gives you 25 gigs of data, international allowances, 50 texts, 50 minutes, local allowance, 500 texts and 500 minutes, and it has a 21 day SIM life. Now, it does expire in 10 days though, but after that you can just renew it because uh, it goes up to 21 days. So this works for you if you're a short-term tourist and we have one other company that I'll show next. Now let's talk about the other option for tourist sims. And this one is with Smart, which is our other phone company that we have. So for the tourist sim, you can basically get these SIM cards to get your own local number, enjoy calls plus text plus data. And so these prices are in Belize dollars. 45 Belize gives you 35 minutes worth of talk time, 130 texts, and unlimited data, which expires in 10 days. And then there's also a 24 hour one for $20, which I don't know how many people would buy that, but definitely the 10 day one might be a good option for you. And with the uh, talk time, it basically says the per minute rates vary by country, so it's not going to be all that useful for you, but you can also use it to purchase SMS 
which is texting bundles and data packages. And the good thing about the texting is that you can use it for local text as well as international. So both Smart and Digi, like I said, do have tourist plans. And then the other thing is you can also look at regular plans. If you're going to be coming into Belize all the time and you want a plan that is a prepaid plan, both Smart and Digi have those options as well. So some of my viewers are moving to Belize or just want the option of having an actual Belize plan because they come often enough. So what are these prices like? Well, here's Digi's website. So you can see here, the starter plan is six gigs of anytime data, unlimited talk and text for 5513 Belize per month. So now let's take a look at Smart, which is the other company. So their cheapest plan is 30 a month. So if you only want one gig of data, they have that little option for you there that Digi doesn't have. But on the eight gig data side here, you can see it's $50 plus GST a month, which means they're pretty much exactly the same price because GST in Belize is 12.5%. So there's not really a difference between the pricing on them. But the one thing Smart does have, if you're looking for it, is an unlimited data plan for 120 plus GST a month. So that is something that I don't see on the Digi side. So both plans can work really well for you. I, I have smart internet at my homes in Mahogany Bay because I don't have the option for Digi fiber optic, unfortunately. And I do have a Digi phone though, just because of the fact that it was the first one I found when I was in San Pedro. And the thing was smart that I noticed at the time that I signed up, I'm not sure if it's the same now, it doesn't really talk about it, is that calling locally was free between smart to smart lines, whereas Digi was free to any local number. So that was one of the reasons I also went ahead and picked Digi. So both of them are options, however. Now that we've talked about the different phone plans, let's talk about what you should do before traveling and some potential problems that you need to be aware of. So one of the things you need to do before traveling is to download essential apps. And the first one is WhatsApp. We use this for both texting and phone calls, as well as setting up different groups that you wanna communicate with all at once. You can use any local number to register for WhatsApp and use it even when your SIM is off or you're just using uh, airplane mode. And the only key with WhatsApp, well, there's two things. One is you have to have Wi-Fi or data to use it. And the other people that you're communicating with also have to have the app. So I recommend any people back home you want to talk to that you make sure that they know that they have to have WhatsApp to communicate with you while you're away. So if you've decided you do not want to incur your daily rate while traveling, one of the things you need to do is make sure you turn data roaming off on your phone before you get on the plane. And don't forget to do the same thing for your tablets and iPads where those usually connect because you really don't want any surprises when you get back home. I know there's a lot of people that don't like Facebook, but when you're in certain countries like Belize, it's kind of critical. We do use Facebook Messenger to communicate with some people, and a lot of the businesses actually use Facebook business pages rather than regular websites. So on Facebook, you can find many different events happening in different bars and venues around the country, and you can also make reservations. So if I want to make a dinner reservation at one of my favorite places in San Pedro, which is Stella Sunset, I just send a Facebook request to them and they confirm my reservation. There's also a bunch of travel and expat groups on Facebook for Belize as well as many other countries. So if you're thinking of coming to the country and you want recommendations for things, you can ask questions and search for other people's questions and what people responded. The other thing to look at on Facebook is marketplace. So if you're looking to buy something, Facebook marketplace is a common place to go. So if you're looking for information in Belize, as I mentioned, there's a bunch of Facebook groups. So I can go in here and search for anything I want. So I can go into Belize and right away you can see Belize expats, land and property for sale, Belize travel, etc. 
You can also look for specific locations. So where I live now, Placencia, has many different groups. Our pool player group for pool tournaments, pickleball, expats, news and happening, rentals, etc. You can also just go into your groups. Once you've signed up for all the groups that you want to be a part of, you can actually just go into Facebook, type the group indicator here, and you'll actually see all the recent activity of things that people ask and what the responses are. Always make sure though that you take everything with a grain of salt. If it's somebody trying to sell you something that's responding, obviously that's not as good as someone that's actually used that service. But definitely Facebook is a great place to find information. Although in general, things were working very well for me in Belize to start with just using my local Belize SIM along with WhatsApp and Facebook, a problem occurred when I was trying to log into many systems more recently, and that's called either multi-factor or two-factor authentication. So because of security issues, a lot of banks and other websites now require a text message to get online. And if you have your SIM off, you cannot get text messages. So this is an issue when you're on airplane mode or if you only have a local SIM active. Uh, even my US bank, when I had my Canadian phone number in, couldn't send me a text because Chase Bank wouldn't send a text message to a Canadian phone number. So this is something that you really need to factor in if you're needing to log in to banking, government, any other website like that that requires the two-factor authentication. So we'll talk about how you can get around this next. So the option that I use to get around the problems that I had with multi-factor and two-factor authentication is called Text Now. So on this app, I can use it both on my computer and my phone when I'm on data or Wi-Fi, and I was able to get a, a phone number here. And so mine's a US phone number. My partner recently just downloaded this in Canada and got a Canadian phone number, so either works fine. The great thing about this is I can get all my verification codes that I need here. So you can see that I've had, well, message just, just from my banker here, um, RBC verification codes, Microsoft, I've done it. This is a United uh, verification, my Airbnb notifications. So tons of different messages you can get by texting, but you can also phone people here. So if I go into here, new call, the great thing about this is I can call anyone in Canada or the US on text now from Belize for free. So I also uh, need to use this when I'm calling governments, uh, calling 1-800 numbers, uh, calling banks. None of them have WhatsApp or Facebook messaging. So I use text now so that I can call them this way. Now other people will use things like Skype. I don't believe that's free though. So this is uh, the one I'm using. This isn't, doesn't cost any money. One other thing to note though about text now is it says it's not supported in Belize, but as you can see, I've been using it for a very long time and I have no issues with it at all. I know there was a lot of information in this video, but to summarize, if you're traveling for a short time, there's many options that work well. But if you're a snowbird or long-term traveler, there's other options you should consider, such as FlexiRow. If you do that, make sure you click my referral link. Now, if you're a couple, perhaps each person can do a different thing. Maybe one gets a local SIM and one gets FlexiRoam, and both people should definitely have WhatsApp and perhaps text now because both of those work well on Wi-Fi and when you have data. FlexiRoam tends to be a bit more expensive than local SIMs in most locations, and that's why I'm recommending maybe each person gets one. So I hope that this information has helped before you plan your next trip. Please reach out if you have any questions and thanks for watching.